What's going on YouTube? Effect Records here. Today, I'm bringing you an updated video of my 03 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo conversion build. Alright guys, what's going on? So I hope you all had a good holidays being Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. I know I have for the most part, but at the same time, I know a lot of things were not on my side. Uh, one being the gas on my welder, actually. Um, so I ran out of gas uh, mid-late November, so I went ahead and uh, went to air gas so I can get a refill. So I went there, paid $100 for the tank and everything, and uh, get it home. And like two or three days later, uh, there's no gas left in the tank. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, I shut it off every time I'm done with it. So I shut my welder off and then I, I turned the gas valve all the way off. So I don't know if I got a bad bottle or anything because um, I exchanged it. But yeah, it only lasted me like two or three days. And then I didn't have any money to get a new bottle because of that. I probably should have just went in there and been like, yeah, this bottle's crap or something. But I did not. Um, I was kind of upset that the uh, whole thing happened. Well, anyway, so... And then Christmas and everything came around, the holidays, and really not having any money. Um, I'm struggling so much. My garage door is just totally busted right now. I can't even open it right now. And that would be thanks to my friend that stopped talking to me after, after he broke it and stuff. But that's another story for a different day. Um, but anyway, so yeah, uh, I ended up not having any gas for the last month and a half. So that definitely sucks and hurts my soul on with what I want to do to my vehicle with like the wide body and stuff. So that's where I'm at with the whole gas issue. So since I didn't have any gas, I was still trying to do stuff that needed to be done anyway. And as you can see right off the bat, right here, uh, I went ahead and took off that uh, support brace that was on there on the outside. And I did this so I can go ahead and clean up the rust um, get all the rust out of there as well as I can. And then I have a new one that I'm going to stick on there that's not as bad condition as the one that was on there previously. I did the same thing on this side. Um, just like that. And all I did to do that was I was going to grind away the spot welds. But instead I took a drill bit and I just drilled out the spot welds all the way down. And then I took a... There was some rust still was like seized up holding them two together and I took a pry bar and beat a pry bar in there to pry back on it and eventually they gave way um, so that's what I did with that which I actually have over here so here's the uh, ones I'm gonna stick on a lot better condition than the ones that I took off so so yeah so that's what it'll, the new one will look like so a lot better but I'm gonna make sure that there's no rust in there because one thing I hate is rust definitely after doing all this work I don't want it to rust out on me. So that's one thing I was working on. And another thing I was working on was, since without no gas and stuff, is I started um, dismantling the door. So like the old uh, wide body that I put on the door. I'm doing a totally different design than the first time. And I'm, I lot, learned a lot from the first time. But I'm definitely going to do it a lot better the second time. So with that being said, I'm not going to put this flat plate on the bottom. Instead, it's going to roll upwards, um, kind of like the Evos actually have it, instead of this, uh, was that, like a raccoon killer, basically? It's like a blade on the side of my car. Um, so instead, it'll roll up nice and smooth on there. It's kind of the idea. I know I'm probably not describing it good enough, but, I mean, I'm doing it to the best of, you know, what's in my mind, basically. So there's that. Like I said, I haven't got a whole lot done on the wide body, but what I have got done is trying to listen to you, your guys' suggestions basically is what made me want to do this now because I was thinking about it at work. Um, so that's kind of what I did for the wide body rear is I just cut that piece out. It's basically all I got done. I did a little bit of welding since the last time you've seen a video, but not a whole lot to like do anything. Like I was, I was welding that and making that all smooth and stuff, trying to make it look match with the car. But So I cut along here. And my plan is it's going to basically come from where the bumper would be. This is where the bumper line would be. And it's going to roll out up to um, the wide body. So instead of just sticking out and then going straight up, it's going to roll up. I think that'll look really nice. And uh, as you see, I see all those Sharpie lines. That's from like, I didn't know what kind of angle I was trying to get out of it when I was thinking about it. And uh, I ended up going with that one. 
and then it's better to cut less than cut more and then need more kind of, kind of thing so um because i can always do like one of these lines over here or something but um let me know what you guys think about that and like if it'll look good if not then all i gotta do is weld on the piece that i took off back off back on so yeah so there's that um i had to redo the rear so i ended up taking out the tail light um so i can clean up the inside because in here is like crazy filthy from like when i was first learning on how to weld there's just wires everywhere it's it's disgusting um i'm trying to you know after, I, I learned a lot since i started with welding and everything else and i'm even taking welding in college now um which school doesn't start back up until the 15th but uh i already had one semester of it and that helped me out a lot as it as, as it is so uh yeah so i took out the tail light i'm gonna reinstall that and do that as a better job and my focus right now is to do this side and then because what i'm what i'm hating to do is i'll do this side and then whatever i do copy on that side um but then i change something on this side that means i got to change something on that side so instead i'm going to focus on this side and get this done so uh by done I, I don't mean body filler done but like where all the welds are are welded and and i'm happy with it i think it looks nice and it's basically ready for body filler but i don't put body filler on it yet um so then once that's done that's what i'm gonna do the other side because i'm already happy with this side so then it's basically just copy and copy and paste kind of thing so that's what i'm gonna do with that now i also got some end caps right here um so i got these just in case i need them for the rear now i made these these are the ones i made I'm, i just made that out of metal and bent it to the shape but i might go official and actually use this one instead uh, I don't really know what I'm doing yet, but I just took them just in case. Now, where I'm getting these parts from, where I'm getting this from and this from, I actually got something outside. Um, I got a 2002 Mitsubishi Lancer OZ Rally Edition. So, originally I bought this car about a year ago um, for $900, and all I wanted from it was the interior. Um, I have, I stripped the interior, um, it had black interior, my original Lancer had tan, and I wanted to go ahead and switch that around, because I like black way better than tan. So I bought this car just for like, a parts car and for the interior, but mainly for the interior. Well my friend wanted it, so what happened was, is I took all the interior out, and then I put some, you know, bullcrap interior in this from like, my tan one, that I spray painted and looked terrible. Um, put that in here so he can drive it. So I ended up giving it to my friend and then I just got it back a couple weeks ago And now I'm using it as the parts car completely um, So we worked out a trade because I need the driver's side window because my friend that broke my garage also broke my driver's side window um, on different occasions, so um, I'm gonna use the windows and stuff and I figure financially speaking It was pretty good. We basically traded for this. I gave him some stuff. He gave me the car um, and all that stuff and then I'm probably just gonna scrap it when I'm done because who would want it after I'm done But um, so I just see yeah, I took that off same way. I drilled those out Using some high-speed drill bits and they work pretty easy it's Just that just that and that and then the only other thing that I took from it Is the end caps <laughs> Like I don't care if it rains in it or not. It's just like I said, it's just just a parts car and that's all I want it for um, And then after that then I'm just gonna scrap it. So that's kind of the plan um, and then it'll also give me two tries on the door skins because I want that to be on the car like it is, but the wide body version of it. So this will give me an extra try. If I mess up the first door, I have this door and then that door before I got to actually make it myself, um, for that look or something. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but like I said, that's where I'm at. And then also I got the windows that I can use. And anything else that I need, I got right here. So, uh, like if I need parts or bolts or anything, I just come out to this car and get it. And, and yeah. So, anyway, uh, that's basically this video. If you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I apologize for not getting more done. But, like I said, with the whole gas thing and then the holidays definitely drained me of all my funds and stuff. So, uh, yeah. But other than that, uh, I'll hopefully see you here in a couple. Um, since the holidays are over, I should be able to buy that gas um, next Thursday when I get paid. So hopefully next Thursday I'll have some gas and then I'll have a video the following week. Um, that's kind of the plan with that. Um, I also want to fix my garage door because it's just, oh man, that looks disgusting. 
<laughs> uh, well, I opened it today, and today was the last day I was going to open it because I, th I thought it was going to fall apart, like, and then I would have no door at all. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, I'll catch you guys later. All right, peace.